mapply is a loop function that tries to, is a multivariate version of the kind of l apply and s apply functions that you've seen previously. And the idea is that it applies a function in parallel over a set of different arguments. So one thing we've noticed about uh, the previous functions l, uh, l apply, s apply, t apply, is that they have only they only apply a function over the elements of a single object. So if you think about l apply, the input to l apply was a list. A single list, that is, and then the function uh, was applied over the elements of that list. So, what happens if you have two lists that you want to apply a function over? And so, and suppose you have two lists, and the elements of the first list go into the fu one argument of the function, and the elements of the second list go into the another argument of the function. So, l apply and s apply can't really be used for that purpose. Uh, and so, one way to do that is just to write a for loop. Uh, where the for loop will index the elements of each of the different lists, and then you can pass a function um, to each of those elements of the list. Uh, another way to do that, though, is with mapply, uh, where mapply can take multiple list arguments and then apply a function to the to the elements of those of the, of the multiple lists in parallel. So the uh, the function arguments for mapply are a little bit different, just because it has to uh, allow for the possibility of a variable number of arguments. So here, the first argument to mapply is the function. That you want to apply, and the function that you're going to pass to mapply has to have an, has the number of arguments that the function takes has to be has to be at least as many as the number of lists that you're going to pass to mapply. So the the list that you pass or the that the things that will be coerced to a list uh, will be passed through the dot 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 argument. Um, and so if you have three lists, you'll pass three objects, and then your function has to take at least three arguments to it. So the more args argument is just if you have more arguments that you need to pass to your function, and the simplify argument is similar to the simplify arguments that you saw in s apply and also in uh, in t apply. So here, for example, I'm creating a list here, and the list has I'm going to repeat uh, one four times, the integer one four times. I'm going to repeat two three times. Going to repeat three two times, and repeat four just once. Uh, so it's a little bit tedious to have to type something to do, even though this is a fairly artificial example. But with mapply, it's actually quite simple. I can just do mapply rep. So rep is the repeat function. Uh, and then um, repeat it has, has two arguments. So uh, the first set of arguments is going to be 1 through 4. And the second set of arguments is going to be 4 through 1. And you can see that in the list above here, uh, the first argument was, was 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the second argument was 4, 3, 2, and 1. So that's... So those are the two sets of arguments that I'm going to pass to mapply. And you can see that when I do that, I get my list of uh, four ones, three twos, two threes, and one four, just like uh, the list that I have above here. So mapply is, can be used to uh, apply a function to multiple sets of arguments. So here's just another very simple function. It just generates some random normal noise. And you, and you see the R norm, the, the, oh, sorry, the function has three arguments, the, the number of observations, uh, the, the value of the mean, and the value of the standard deviation. So if I just apply noise to, with a single set of arguments, 5, 1, and 2, uh, I get five random normal var variables with the mean 1 and standard deviation 2. However, this function doesn't work really correctly. Um, if I if I pass out a vector of arguments, so now um, what's happening is I get a vector of five here when I pass it one through five and one through five. But really, what I want to happen um, is to have uh, one one random normal with mean one, two random normals with mean two, three random normals with mean three, etc., and then five random normals with mean five. And so that's what I get here when I when I use the mapply function. Uh, onto the uh, and by vectorize this noise function, uh, I give it you know three sets of arguments. So it's one through five, one through five, and then two. So I, I'm always going to fix the standard deviation to be two, but I'm going to be changing the n and I'm going to be changing the mean. So now I've got one random variable with the mean one. I got two with mean two, three with mean three, four with mean four, and then five with mean five. So that's how I can instantly vectorize a function that doesn't allow for vector arguments. So this is the same as, as I were to manually type out a list uh, with these five different function calls. So this way, it's, it's nice to be able to instantly kind of create a function that doesn't allow for vector inputs uh, and, to, um, and to kind of instantly vectorize it.